from uh, this end of the table, quarterback Joe Furco, quarterback Jamal Lane, head coach Tim Lester, linebacker Wayne Tuxen, and running back Scotty Williams. All four players are seniors. And I don't have any eligibility left. <laughs> um, you know, I guess uh, looking at the game, I thought we played hard. A um, couple plays here and there swung, swung the game, but uh, we played a, a very well-coached team, and uh, they played hard as well. And uh, it was a battle. The second half, I thought the defense is both on both sides of the ball played really well. And uh, it came down to one play here or there. You know, and they made it, and we've been, uh, we've been in a lot of tight ball games this year. And uh, we've been able to pull them out, and, and we were just a little bit short today. But uh, give them credit. They played well. They, they had some big plays. And, uh, you know, they, they, they hung in there. But I think both teams hung in there pretty well. I think it was a very well-played game on both sides. Coach, on the uh, – you had first and goal at the eight when you had the pitch that, you know, St. Thomas got picked up and mm -hmm. ran back. What, what was the, was that a pitch play the whole way? Yeah, well, uh, no, it, it didn't have to be pitched. Uh, it's the same play we scored on on the first drive mm -hmm. uh, when Joe tried to go second touchdown. Yeah, it was the second drive. Uh, Joe turned it up and ran it in. Uh, what happened was is their their corner made an aggressive play, and um, our wide receiver missed him. You know, Joe Joe was reading the outside linebacker, did a great job pitching off the line, outside linebacker. Uh, you know, and the corner was able to go up and hit Scotty as he was catching it. So. You know, we talked to our, you know, our ex-receiver, told him to keep his head up, and, and uh, it's not something that uh, any of these guys can see. They're reading the pitch cue to the outside linebacker. And uh, so, I, you know, it, it's one of those things that happened. They did a great job of scooping, and Joe almost got on us, and, uh, and then they were able to scoop it and finish the playoff. It was a big play in the game, and, you know, went their way. Just for, uh, for Tim, for you, and kind of for Joe here, you guys had a lot of success, it seemed like, going down the middle of the field to the uh, to the tight ends. Was that kind of the game plan all along, just to attack well, them deep over the middle? No, nah, you know, it was just, it was, it was pretty much going to try to feel them out. You know, we're, we're a team that, that prides ourselves in pounding the rock, and we wanted to see their coverage and their leverage and where they were bringing pressure before we figured out where we were going to attack them through the air. Uh, they ended up, you know, giving us some opportunities where their, their, tight, their safeties were guarding our tight ends from about 10 yards off the ball. So we're able to use the middle of the field a little bit. Uh, we had a couple more uh, down there, you know, that anytime you play man uh, and, uh, you know, you're susceptible from getting, from getting some uh, shots down the middle. And we were able to, to capitalize on some of them and we missed some of them. And, uh, but, yeah, I thought, uh, I thought our plan was to run the ball and try to set up some big passing plays was, was fairly effective. It was a great, I mean, they were great defense. I was, uh, as a football coach and offensive coordinator, it was a fun week watching film. Not a fun Saturday playing them. But a fun week watching a great defense play hard. Um, Scotty, you had I think you had over seventy yards in the first half and about thirty five in the second. Did you see St. Thomas playing in the, playing you any differently on defense in the second half or not? I wouldn't say that they were playing me any different than uh, in the first half. Um, I just missed some reads, uh, didn't take advantage of some cuts that I made in the first half and uh, it obviously shown the statistics. For your, for Wayne and Jamal, I'll talk about uh, the defense a little bit. Just to, not just today, but for kind of the whole season. Uh, you guys have kind of been predicated on the big play, big play, big play. Vicari like, had that fumble today and the turnovers. Um, yeah, they just talk a little bit about the defense today in general, and then also the, just kind of the whole season too, uh, as a unit. Um, we've always gone along the line of touchdowns and turnovers. That's what's winning games, and that's what's important. So uh, anytime it's always turnovers, we're thinking of ETM. We get turnover mentality every play. So. And this defense said, you know, has always been whenever our backs are against the wall, we play our best. And um, a lot of times those big turnovers are when we're, our backs are against the wall. So this whole season, you know, we, no matter if, They've made a, if an opposing team made a big play or a small play, we, we just the next play we're, we're always focused on the next play, and we're always trying to we're always trying to have ETM, you know, CJ turnover mentality. So that's that's what we, we think every time we tap our helmets with the call, and uh, so for the whole season has worked. So um, it's, it's been really hard. For for kind of all you all the seniors here for Joe and for Scott, just talk about collectively what this year was like for you guys. I mean, obviously.
States and, and race season conference champions, first ever playoff appearance, first ever playoff win, and just how special of a year was it for you guys collectively? I guess I'll start. Um, well, for me, it's been a really special year. Um, I've been telling people since my freshman year when we started out four and six that one day, you know, we'd be able to take over our league and uh, don't ever count us out. And it finally came to fruition with the senior class actually buying into what Coach Lester preached that uh, if we actually had more than 20 seniors that we'd, we'd actually win the conference. And it actually happened. And this wasn't a surprise to us. Uh, this offseason, we've worked our butts off. And uh, I think these guys have the most heart out of any team I've ever been on. Uh, we have the most fight out of any team I've ever been on. Uh, I love every guy on this team. Uh, there hasn't been one guy that sit out and we just, you know, there's always one guy that somebody gets picked on, but with this team, it's like a family, and that's what has really stood out to us and been really special. Um, and again, I've always talked about it all season. Our offensive line is amazing. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, I wouldn't trade it for any bigger guy. You guys might say it's better than any guy on our offensive line, but I wouldn't trade a single one uh, at all. Yeah, and then I just think uh, all. I mean, the past two years we were six and four, six and four. And there was two or three games, like Coach always says, it's going to go down to the last minute in the CCIW and playoffs. And up to this point in our senior year, we crumbled under the pressure. So all those games that were going back down to the minute, we ended up losing. But this year, with, since we do have 20 seniors, I think the seniors kind of brought it upon everyone just stay relaxed in those last two minutes. And most of the time, we came out of the top except for today. Here, being here for four years and seeing the you know progression of how this program has been built um, this season has has been remarkable um, from the coaching staff to our, our families first of all we got to thank God for allowing us to be here but um, our support system and, and just our brothers in, in the locker room they've always you know they bought into what the coaches were saying they bought into what the senior class was saying and we, we believed in each other. It didn't matter what role um, was assigned to who, as long as that role was, you know, executed to the best of their ability, um, then you know we were we were good to go. And uh, this this group is, is is more than just brothers. It's a family, from the best player to the worst player, and it's just been so remarkable this year. And I just thank every single one of them, the coaches, our families, and our supporters all. such a close-knit group as a family, I know. I mean, I know we wish it wasn't over now, but I mean, just it was a dream that we, I came in and we all came in with four years ago. And we believed in it and we worked, worked so hard towards it and we were able to achieve it. I mean, it's just truly been a, a blessing to be around this program and everyone involved in it. And last, just to follow up on that, too, just talk about this, this, the senior group in this year in general, obviously. Yeah, I mean, this is my first recruiting class. So uh, four years ago, I went into all their schools and uh, sold them, sold them a, on, a, on an idea, on a vision that, that we thought could happen if they bought in, and they did. I mean, they everything they, they've been competitive for three years now. Um, even that year we went four and six, we lost five of those six games by I think seven or less points. Um, you know, we just needed to make sure that we, you know, we matured and. Uh, won close games, and that's what this team, uh, the leadership, really, that's really the difference. I think my first year we had five seniors, second year we had six, third year we had eight, and now we have 20. Um, the leadership of these guys up here has just been uh, unbelievable, and, you know, what they've accomplished, I told them in the locker room, I mean, we're, we're team number 93, I don't know if anyone knows that, uh, you know, I tell the guys every team's different, we're the 93rd Elmer College football team. Because we have shirts that say 93 on them. And, you know, I said, what do you guys want to be remembered for? And uh, I think this team is going to be remembered. Uh, I think there are most wins we've had before this were eight. And we're at 10. And, uh, and made the playoffs and won a playoff game. And, uh, you know, played at St. Thomas' team that I hope goes all the way. Obviously, I'm the biggest fan now. Uh, you know, played them tough. You know? So uh, I tried to tell them locker room, but you guys, there's two ways to handle this. You can either be upset that we lost or look back and be proud of everything you guys have accomplished. And, they should be. I said, you can be sad, but never hang your head. Uh, they have no reason, absolutely zero reason to be 